Okay guys, so what have we got here? I've been driving down this old road for so long I don't know when If I can go back in time, you know I'd do it all again I grew up breathing diesel, riding steel and chrome I worked damn hard to get where I'm at, and I did it on my own. Cause I'm a wheel burner. Well, on the last live, I had mentioned uh, some of the equipment we were working with up here. And uh, I was talking about one of these tri drive trucks, one of the W9s. And here's one right here. We're gonna just take a quick basic walk, well, basic. We're just gonna take a quick walk around first, just to give you a look at the truck. And then we'll get into the specifics, the specs on the truck, what it's used for. And then once you have all of that, I'm gonna give you the overall price of this particular unit um, when, by the time it got back and they took delivery of it. Oh, watch for ice chunks. Okay, so let's talk about some specifications on this truck. Um, this is a 2022 W9, obviously, you can tell. Um, it is powered by the new X15, 655 horse, uh, 2,080 uh, foot-pounds of torque coming out of this thing. This particular one right here in front of us has a 20,000 pound front end steer axle. And she's got 65,000 pound rears. This truck, this particular truck and the driver that drives it actually holds the record for our company for single, uh, the, the heaviest, uh, biggest and heaviest single move um, in our company's history. Um, and that's by a single truck. That's by having no tuggers and no assistance. Uh, load was 186,000 pounds. It was a transformer. And he pulled that solo with just this truck by itself. And the truck did it. Uh, she holds 300 gallons. She's got 150 gallons aside. She's got an oil reservoir, obviously, for pump, hydraulics. Full toolbox. Fully loaded. Um, okay, tires. Let's get down to tires here. Um, these are just standard Michelins. XDN 2s, 22 fives. This obviously is not, this is a Michelin, or sorry, that's no, not a Michelin. Um, this is a, what, Firestone. And this is a 425-65R. I don't wanna be the poor bastard changing one of these out. That is a bitch. This is an 18 speed with a four speed auxiliary. So there's two sticks in this thing to drive. And from what uh, the, the driver of this truck says, um, once you know how to do it, it's not bad. It's easy, they're easy to operate, but man, there's a bitch to learn on these, one of these things. I myself have never driven one, never driven one, um, but it's really cool. Um, the driver did ask me, you know, don't show the inside and you really don't need to see it. It's pretty standard for a, a W9. Um, now, the listing price. This truck came, uh, came uh, out of the factory, obviously, over to the dealership, had some, some other things done to it. Uh, we took delivery of it. The full all-in price on this truck by the time uh, it was delivered was $485,000. 
So any of you that are thinking you have an extra 485,000 bucks laying around and you want to take a swing at this, that's a 400. No, let's just, when you get to 485, you might as well just round that up to 500. You're half a million dollars right here on the truck. Now, guys, this is Canadian funds for the U.S. guys. You guys are going, what the? No, it's this is all this is all U.S. Or sorry, this is all Canadian. Jeez, the least he could have done is at least washed it for me. Eh? <laughs> no, he was gracious enough to do this. Let me let me pull the truck out and take a swing at this and do this. So beautiful truck. I can't wait to see these things in action. Um, the company currently has uh, a dozen of them. They got 12 of these, and we've actually got two owner operators, two guys that are owner operators that actually run these as well. So um, when you're talking about heavy money, like this is it right here. Again, sorry about the wind, I apologize. But damn, that's just evil. You look in your mirror and you see that coming, like you just instinctively want to get out of the way. So there you go. That is a 2022 W9 Tri Drive. That is doing some heavy work, man. That's that's a toy for a big boy right there. So, hope you're happy. Answered your questions. The guys that wanted to see this, see the truck. There you go. We're gonna be uh, trucking possibly this afternoon. Probably not, but possibly but probably tomorrow morning. So with that, guys, I'm going to get back inside where it's warm. Later.